Until recently, Credit Suisse has been secretive about its strategy for choosing clients in its prime brokerage unit. Whatever the strategy, it seems to work, as Credit Suisse topped Global Custodian's 2009 survey of prime brokers. Now, Phil Vassan, Credit Suisse's head of prime brokerage, outlines that strategy in this exclusive interview with GCTV. We tried to keep under wraps as long as we could our select strategy, and we were successful at that for about five years until one of the major financial papers broke a story in the spring of 2009 that there was a secret list known as the Credit Suisse 400. And as soon as that word got out, we uh, started getting flooded with phone calls from clients asking if they were on the list and if not, how to get on the list. We've been set up for years almost like a hedge fund to fund, trying to select long-term winners in this market in particular, hedge funds who we felt would do better with a partnership with Credit Suisse. So over the years, we've actually selected less than 50% of the hedge funds we might have done business with. And during this dislocation, it's been less than 40%. We've tried to look at the hedge fund's prospects for success, as well as the best practices around what they do. So we moved early to think about best practices as well as performance being equally important. And that's informed a lot of our strategy and who we pick. It has now been a year since the collapse of Lehman Brothers, which rocked the entire financial marketplace worldwide. Hassan says the industry has encountered three major changes since that collapse. In just this one year since we all went to hell and back, I think three things have really changed fundamentally, transformationally. They've changed forever. One of them is among investors, and that's the most important. Investors are now rightfully saying, it's my money. It's my money. And they are much more influential in what happens to that money than ever before. Hedge funds, for their part, are saying, it's my firm. And I need to know where my collateral is at all times. I need to avoid situations that can sink my firm. The authorities, meanwhile, have stepped up, whether it's on regulation or legislation, and they're saying, it's my purview, and I'm going to look after these markets and do what it takes to prevent binary outcomes as we came so dangerously close to in 2008. Fassan says hedge funds are increasingly going multi-prime since Lehman, something Credit Suisse has helped clients do for years. In the five days in which the broker-dealer model changed on Wall Street, we were especially busy and that's not really a five-day story for us. It was more of a five-year story, one in which we had planted the seeds to emerge as a very strong bank counterparty for the hedge fund community. There was a combination, we think, of a flight not only to safety, but also a flight to quality. And for Credit Suisse, providing clients with quality is not just about Credit Suisse. It's always been about giving them the best, not only of the bank, but of the market. And that's why we and our partners at Paladine rolled out the Advanced Prime offering, which was an open architectural offering to allow hedge funds to easily multi-prime. And those five days on Wall Street brought home to roost the imperative of multi-priming. We're just glad to have been working on that for a few years before September and October of 2008.